Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This week we're gonna do another reading vlog. I am starting my second book club with a group of 20 people and I really need to go pick up the book. We start in a little bit less than a week, so I have some time to get the book, but I have the day off today and I just kind of want to swing by the bookstore, any excuse to go, and just pick up the book. So I think that's what I wanna do today. I just need to stop by my work really quick to get some work out of the way and we were also having a little cake pop-up and you know me i'm obsessed with cake and i thought that having cake at 10 in the morning was a great idea it is um <laughs> yes we stopped and got some cake they look so good i have not taken a bite yet but i wanted to show you guys what they look like so i got a confetti cake and then i also got a dark chocolate espresso so before we head over to the bookstore, I wanted to stop at a coffee shop really quick. I want to pick up a macchiato, but I also want a matcha. Are we surprised at this point? Not really. But that is what I want. I just wanted a little bit of coffee. I don't drink that much coffee anymore, so I wanted in a small dose today. And then just have my usual matcha. So right now I'm just going to make my way over to the coffee shop and then make our way over to the bookshop. So yes. That is the plan for today. Let's go do that. So it's a little later in the day. I wanted to take a shower and I just kind of wanted to get into my little cozy sweater. It's been gloomy the last like the last few days. The sun comes and then it goes away and it's just a whole thing. It was pretty rainy earlier. So I just basically decided upon waking up this morning that I was probably just gonna have a very chill day at home. So that's what it's looking like so far. It is currently like three o'clock, I believe. I just kind of wanted to get a good shower in. And now that I've finished the whole routine, I wanted to really quickly go through the few books. I don't even know how many are in here. There's five. There's five in here. Uh, these are some recent ones that I've gotten and you might have already seen them in a couple vlogs, but I haven't really talked about them. But these are the ones that I've bought in recently that are on my current TBR list. These are the book selections that I feel are pulling me in right now. So um, I have an abundance of books that I will get to eventually, but so far these five are the ones that I feel I'll 
gravitate towards to in like the next couple weeks or so. So yes, these are the five that I've chosen to kind of tackle first before all the rest of them. So I wanted to go through them really quickly. The first one is one that you just saw earlier in this vlog. I am so excited about this one. So as I mentioned at the beginning of this vlog, we've selected this book for my book club for the month of April. I am so excited about it. There's a group of like 20 of us and it's so exciting. I had so much fun in the last one and I decided to just keep going. Like I've mentioned in a few other vlogs, I don't really read fantasy at all, but um, I got done reading Fourth Wing and I'm pretty sure everyone has read it at this point, but that has easily become my favorite book of the year so far. I have so many thoughts on Fourth Wing and a couple of other books that I've recently finished and I haven't got a chance to just kind of sit down talk about my ratings, talk about my thoughts. We have to do that at some point. And I'm not sure if I'll make like a separate vlog kind of chatting a little bit about that because I have some thoughts, you know what I mean? I want to talk about the recent books that I finished because some of them are five stars for me. And I still think about them even though I finished them already like for the last week. So I don't know, there's some things that we need to discuss but I don't want to make this portion of the video so long. I kind of just wanted to go really quickly through the books that I've currently got on my TBR, this being the first one. So the next book that I bought recently is The Silent Patient. I've actually already started this one because when we did last month's book club, this book lost by one vote. And it was actually my vote, which I wasn't even mad about the selection that we had anyway. We read Bright Young Women. It was so amazing. I am so happy that we ended up reading that, but Obviously, I had to buy this one anyway because I ended up just wanting to read it and we didn't get to. So I'm like, okay, I have to buy it. I started it, I believe, a few days ago, maybe like five days ago. I'm jumping back and forth currently between reading it as an audiobook and then physically reading it when I have the time to sit down. Uh, but I do jump back and forth just because I've had a busy week so far. But I'm currently halfway through this book. I wanted to include it in this pile anyway because I did just recently pick it up and I haven't talked about it. So this is The Silent Patient. It's so good so far. Like I said, I'm halfway through. This will most likely be finished within the next two days or so so i'll add it to the whole conversation that we're gonna have the newest one that i've gotten so far other than ninth house is stephen king's the institute i am so excited about this one i feel like i say that about all stephen king books but i'm really excited about this one i feel like i've had a journey trying to buy this book for some reason every single time i would go to the bookstore they would be sold out of it so in my last vlog as you saw, I went to the bookstore and I saw it there and I had to get it because I just felt like the last three times that I was trying to purchase it, I could not find it. But yes, yeah, Stephen King's The Institute. I am so excited about this one. I just want to read the synopsis really quick because it just, it drew me in just from the synopsis. So it says in the middle of the night, intruders silently murder young Luke Ellis's parents and steal him away from his suburban Minneapolis home, an operation that takes less than two minutes. Luke will wake up in a faraway room that looks just like his own, except there's no window and outside his door are several other doors, behind which are several other kids with very special abilities and who arrive at wherever he is in the same way Luke did. If you're a Marvel fan like me, it's giving like Marvel slash Eleven vibes and I'm here for it. I want to start it so bad, but we can't do it yet. I have to push it off. We have other ones to get through first. The other one that I got, which I was so bummed, I couldn't find the original cover other than on Amazon. It was like $80. I was so sad about it, but the other one that I got was Four Things by Alistair Gray. I'm really committed to reading the book before I watch the movie. I really don't want to ruin anything for myself, and I just feel like movies never do books any justice, but I really really want to read this one so bad. It doesn't look like a lengthy read at all, but I was bummed that I couldn't get the original cover. Not that this one isn't gorgeous because Emma Stone is gorgeous, we love her, but I'm a sucker for original covers. I love all the pictures that it has inside, like it has so many photos. And then last but not least, I showed it in the last vlog as well, but I finished Fourth Wing and I was convinced honestly by like five, six chapters in that I was gonna get iron flamed so we got her she's beautiful she's super thick we love that i actually think this book is a little thicker than fourth wing uh i could be wrong but it seems that way but yes so i have two book clubs one is the larger one that we're starting with ninth house with like 20 of us 
And then I have a separate one with just me and my friend Alexis. So we read Fourth Wing together, just her and I, and we're obviously gonna start this one right after, so super excited about that. These are the newest additions to my bookshelf. So these are the ones that are gonna be tackled next. I'm so excited. Anywho, right now, I think I'm just gonna reorganize my books again because I kind of took them out of the bookshelf and I made a mess. I want to plan a few things for my book club. I'm trying to come up with like a reading schedule that works for everybody. So right now I think I'm just gonna make something to eat and then I'm gonna sit down for a few minutes and just kind of work on the schedule and send everyone a message just that I've updated that. So I really want to spend just a few minutes to just kind of work on book club and just get everybody set up. Happy Tuesday. Wait, it's not Tuesday, it's Wednesday. <laughs> what day is it? Happy Wednesday. Um, I'm about to make my way over to the library. My kiddo rented out like 14 books last time we went and today she wants 20. So we're not gonna fight her on that. We're gonna go make our way over to the library. And then I also brought my book with me because I I'm almost done with it. I really want to finish it while I'm filming this vlog. I've got this much left here, not too much at all. I really want to try out this new local spot that just opened up recently and I thought I would get some reading time in while I'm there. So first stop, we're gonna go make our way over to a local panaderia. I wanna get my kiddo a little concha, just have a little sweet treat and then make our way over to the library. So yes, I'm trying to get a lot of reading done today. I want to finish this book today, so I think we can do it. And then I want to go ahead and get the next book started because we are on a roll. So we're going to keep that momentum going. Right now, I just kind of want to get a little sweet treat in us. It is currently 12.15 at the moment. We're having a very laid back day today. So yes, late start, little late afternoon. I feel really motivated to read today. So yes. Right now, let's go get a little sweet treat.
it is the next day. I want to make my way over to a local coffee shop, get a little reading in to finish off this vlog. Book club day has arrived and I'm so excited to finally start Ninth House. I have been waiting. It's been sitting on my shelf and I just, I need to dive in already and see what all the fuss is about. So yes, super, super stoked about it. I have a late start to my day. I want it to be out in the morning, but it's afternoon time now, so it's all good. I just kind of wanted to spend a little bit out of the apartment and just get some reading done to finish off this vlog. Uh, right now I need to get some gas before I make a way over because I'm about to run out of gas. I don't know why I do this to myself, but I do it all the time. And then I also want to make a quick stop on the way to the coffee shop to a little free library. I have some books that I've brought in my bag that I want to donate, just kind of clearing up space, books that I feel that I'm not going to read, that I've just kind of been sitting there and I feel like somebody could definitely get more use out of it than I've been. So I definitely just want to make a quick stop to do that before we head to the coffee shop. But that is the plan for right now. I am going to go get some gas before I run out and then head over to the little library, donate some books, and then go get some coffee or a matcha, both. But yes, I'm just excited to have a little cute and cozy Saturday to myself. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be up to later. But that is a plan for right now. So first of all, let's go get some gas. I don't want to run out. 